Hey, this is Emmo from What's So Night. We're the Groove and Moo, and this is Speaker TV. I want it. 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 I think Groove and Moo really stands out because it is, you know, out of the major cities. It's it's a bit of effort to get here. It's such a a different atmosphere to what I've seen before. It's a lot of you know regional kids that probably don't go clubbing every weekend or experience um, get to experience a lot of the things that you know some of the other major festivals provide. So yeah, it's it's really incredible. It's great being on a lineup full of bands as opposed to just dance acts. So when we play you know a really soft song, it sounds massive compared to a lot of other things. You know, it's great. <laughs> So not is myself and Harley, who of course is Flume as well, and I do all the touring for our project. We write all the songs together. We started it maybe four years ago or so now, um, and yeah, things have been amazing this year. We're touring the US a lot and, and back over here for this, which has been awesome. I do pretty much all of it myself. If our touring schedules line up and we're both in the same city and we can do a show together, we'll do a show together usually, yeah. But that's a rarity. <laughs> Our stuff is meant for big, big venues, big festivals, and it's, it's, it's. I guess it's. We try and make it kind of epic. I did my, like, my debut solo EP only in uh, November last year or October last year. So a lot of the stuff is behind the scenes at the moment. There's probably like 15 or so tracks that I've been working on that are, have different homes at the moment or are looking for homes for them. So yeah, I think this will be quite an exciting year for me about you know getting that material out and, and pushing to you know have my own EP and my own sort of staple and, and genres and things coming out. We only did our first film clip late last year for Jaguar. And that was really amazing. We actually, that was uh, involved the Australian government and encouraging young people to get into the arts and it was all sponsored and it was, it was a really incredible project to be a part of. We had things going pretty well over here and I went over there and there was a lot of talk from a lot of these big managers and agents and people on our team and stuff like you know this is gonna happen this is gonna happen this is gonna happen this is what we want to do blah 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 and it's you know everything's talk until you see it in the physical form and see it in reality and then when I got over there and I was actually in these meetings with these people these big heavy hitters in the industry I was like wow okay this is this is legit this is actually happening and that was a bit of a moment for me and then I don't get to try not to get too caught up in it it's like you just take what you get and take it as it is becoming a reality. It's locked in because, you know, there's things thrown around behind the scenes all the time that just never eventuate. And if you, you get caught up in every single one of those, you're never going to get out alive. But yeah, it's, 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 I'm so excited for all the things that we got coming. Yeah.